My name's Ray Taylor. I'm an electrician from Wolverhampton. Become a bit of a media sensation because I've put this uh, electric shocker on my van. My van got broken into twice. First time I had a car, I had all my tools in there. It was about two and a half thousand pounds worth of tools in there. And they, I got up the next day and not only my tools had gone, the car had gone as well. And I haven't seen it since. This January, I had all my tools stolen. Again, about two and a half thousand pounds worth. And uh, I decided to do something about it and design an alarm for a van where I could stop these thieves breaking into it. Well, we're here but, uh, to uh, protect, protect the tradespeople and encourage them to get their vans protected. I'm going to fit one today and I'm going to show you, give you a demonstration on how it works. I'm Chris McDonald, I'm an electrician. Uh, the van got completely emptied once in Cardiff. They even took the TV on, completely emptied at the back. Just got in, innit? Like, because obviously we're working away, so you come out to the outside car park and everything's gone. So you've got to drive all the way home anyway. I ain't earned any money. And then you've got to replace all the tools, so you're in debt already straight away. Near enough, every site we go on, you're here with someone who's had the van done. Near enough, every site. Oh, it's called the Stingray. Uh, for obvious reasons, my name's Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the van gives you a sting, so uh, I thought it was a pretty apt uh, name for it. Oh, but it's basically a burglar alarm inside a van, and a burglar alarm inside a van. I think you're everywhere will stop you, but they can obviously put things in place to deter them like that. Like you say, if I see that Stingray logo, well, I wouldn't touch you. Even if they don't touch the shock out, no, it's, it's enough to make you run. Horrible noise. Oh no, it'll go through rubber gloves. It's that kind of voltage that will penetrate the glove. I've had a lot of, lot of people say, uh, you've only got to wear rubber gloves. I'm not bothered about the rubber gloves. I'm not bothered about anything because the van has got a massive alarm on it. And if you, if you try and break into it, you try and break it, you're not getting anything anyway because I've got extra protection in the van. It's just, it's just to protect your tools, and these are the extremes we have to get to, but they need some extra, I mean, they're still getting the doors and the alarm will go off, but they need some, you know, some additions like van vaults. So when the alarm goes off and they do get in, there's a van vault there, they're not gonna start messing about with a van vault when this alarm's blazing and the police lights going off, because it looks like you've got a police car on your drive. Well, what I'm aiming to do is just stop the thieving scum out there robbing our tools, robbing all the tradesmen's tools. And these tradesmen have to, have to stay in the house because they got nothing, nothing to use because they've took everything. It's low life, to be honest. I don't think of the consequences, do they? They're taking food off your table and all. Right, that's another Stingray alarm done. Uh, if you want to get in touch and have yours done, the, all the details are on the Facebook page, the Stingray page. Shall we go for it? I ain't going to touch you because he's... That's it then, mate. Think of that. <laughs>